All right, so this story comes from Florida, and it comes from the Sun Sentinel. Former NYPD police officers who were praised by Ron DeSantis, who is the governor in Florida. The guy's a clown. Include a fired security officer, a defendant in a federal police brutality lawsuit. <laughs> It's business as usual. People who don't cut it as Walmart security officers and so on and so forth. Business as usual. And it's like I said, you got a guy who can't make it as a Walmart security guard, but you want this man as a police officer. That was a mistake. You got another guy with the nerve and the audacity to only have three years law enforcement experience, but to go on and demand more than double your salary. The impudence! The audacity! You got guys with mysterious gaps in their resumes, meaning that there's a lapse in employment. And you might say, that's not a big deal. Are you sure about that? But if it happened to you, if you were going to a job interview or being considered for a position, and therefore, trust and believe me when I say, nobody would feel sorry for you. Guaranteed! Cops should be held to the same standard. You got a real low standard for who uh, qualifies on that. Once again, you had a man who mistakenly checked a box on his employment application indicating that he uses cannabis and used it recently. Hey. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> but then he would go on to say that he never used cannabis. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Crap. You had two guys who were disciplined by the NYPD, but they failed to mention that on their employment applications. Man, that's a strange thing, isn't it? It seems to me a strange thing. You had another guy who worked for the NYPD anti-crime unit who were officers in plain clothes who rode around in unmarked vehicles and they would engage in stop and frisk searches in mostly minority neighborhoods. Ah, uh, business as usual. And they were involved in quite a bit of controversial shootings of civilians. Yikes. But wait, there's still more. And it was so bad with them that the NYPD police commissioner disbanded that team and all those officers who belonged to those units were reassigned to other units. And this all went down last year after some high profile incidents. Problematic. In fact, a police officer was just hired in Lakeland, Florida, even though he was one of the eight NYPD officers who in 2015 decided to handcuff and beat a man according to a federal lawsuit. Well, what a sad state of affairs. That the cops who are already on duty are trash, but this story proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that they're certainly bringing in trash too. Thanks for watching. If you would like more deep dive content, please go subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want more shorter content, you can check out my TikTok. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow. But most importantly, make sure you share the content with everyone that you know so that we can hold cops accountable until next time horns up peace out good night and good luck